Taylor Dome Fractures What is a Taylor Dome Fracture? One of the bones comprising the ankle is the talus bone which forms part of the foot. It forms the floor of the ankle joint. In a severe ankle sprain, usually the medial and lateral ankle ligaments bear the brunt of the trauma, but sometimes the sprain may be so severe that the talus bone is displaced resulting in trauma to the bone and in many cases may be severe enough to cause a fracture within the talus. In the majority of cases there is a severe inversion sprain along with a resulting dorsiflexion of the foot, the ankle turns inward and at the same time the foot is jerked upwards. Usually the top or dome is affected and thus we end up with a fracture of the dome. Since the Taylor dome is made of cartilage, which is what allows the foot to bend up and down smoothly, if it does not heal properly a small piece of cartilage may actually break off creating a defect in the otherwise smooth pearly nature of cartilage. The broken piece of cartilage may then float in the ankle joint acting as a foreign body which can be irritating to the joint and cause pain. Symptoms of Taylor Dome Fracture Pain in the ankle, worse when ambulating, or standing for long periods of time, compared to periods where the patient is not doing much walking. Clicking type sensation in the ankle during ambulation. Locking of the ankle. Sensation that the ankle is going to give out on them and they do not feel secure to bear weight on the ankle. Swelling is a normal complaint in these conditions and the amount of swelling is usually proportional to the amount of activity one undertakes. Diagnosis of Taylor Dome Fracture Diagnosis of these fractures can be difficult to make as it is quite often overlooked when a patient complains of ankle pain particularly if the ankle sprain was not considered serious. An X-ray would be the first diagnostic test performed and often it is a good idea to take the same views of the other ankle for comparison purposes. If an X-ray proves to be uneventful and your doctor suspects a Taylor Dome fracture, an MRI or CT scan may have to be performed for a more definitive view of the talus. Treatment of Taylor Dome Fractures Treatments for this fracture are predicated on the severity of the defect along with the age and activity of the patient. The simplest treatment is to place the patient in a cast to keep the ankle joint from moving and allowing the defect to heal. The patient may or may not be able to bear weight, at the discretion of the doctor. Oral anti-inflammatory medication or pain medication may be prescribed to reduce the discomfort associated with this condition. Once healing has occurred, Physical therapy may be helpful to restore range of motion in the affected ankle joint. During this period, and possibly beyond, the patient may wear an ankle brace to better stabilize the joint and hopefully prevent further injury. In cases where the Taylor dome defect is too far into the joint and thus will never heal back onto the dome, surgical intervention may be necessary to remove the defect. Surgical treatment may involve a simple arthroscopic procedure to remove the bone chip, to more complicated situations where there is open reduction where the ankle joint is opened, the Taylor defect is identified and put back into place and held there with internal fixation. Read the complete article at www.fot-pain-expland.com slash t-a-l-a-r underscore d-o-m-e underscore f-r-a-c-t-u-r-e dot h-t-m-l